had to apply your mascara on and something goes very, very wrong. I know we'll never, I know we'll never. Oh, for the love of. And it happens to a lot of us. Instead of having to use a Q-tip to clean it up. Which also brings up this point. Have you ever had a guy that just came up to you and he was really, really creepy and he offered you his business card? Instead of throwing it away, you can use a business card as a tool for your makeup. So let's get started. All you need is one pencil, a pair of scissors, and one business card or index card. Take the card and place it over your eye. Measure and mark the length of your eyes. Now, you don't need to be like Da Vinci to draw like this. Just approximate and trace the shape of your eye. Take your scissors and cut out the shape. It should look somewhat like a semicircle. I'm also going to use the Maybelline Pulse Perfection Vibrating Mascara and Lancome's Oscillation Vibrating Mascara. And for all you perverted people with those perverted comments, just letting you know, we actually use the vibrating mascara for our eyes. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, back to the tutorial. Take the card and place it over your eyelids. Now, gently lift your eyelids up. See how you can grab onto every single lash? Now, let's use the Maybelline Pulse Perfection. You can feel it vibrating. Remember, always curl your lashes before applying mascara. Now, I'm using Lancome's Oscillation. This card trick not only shields your eyelids from the mascara, but it also helps grab onto every single lash. Lancome's oscillation is better if you want more volume and fatter looking lashes. Maybelline's Pulse Perfection is better for cleaner looking lashes. It's optional, but you can use the same card on your lower lashes too. It helps protect your under eyes from the mascara smudges. Now we're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Good luck everyone.